Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today, we've got the Hammer Mod. Hey YouTube, I'm rocking the Tobeco Hammer Mod today. I got this on loan from my good friend Johnny. And I, you know what? I was actually looking forward to reviewing this. I had another Twitter friend uh, that was going to send this for me to review. Unfortunately, his broke. Um, but Johnny ended up picking one of these up. And uh, you know, it is a really cool looking mod. I like the way it sits. You know, it really does look like a pipe. And it looks really nice with the K-Fun thrown on there. Uh, I do have the uh, 18350 battery in here right now. When we dive up close, I'll show you what's going on, the different extensions you can rock on there. But, uh, you know, again, with the K-Fun on there, doesn't that just look like they were made to be together? Again, this is the Tobacco version. Um, you know, I think it does look really cool. Um, it, it actually hits fairly good. I like the size, and it sits nice in the hand. I have noticed it does take a little bit longer to heat up compared to some of my other uh, mech mods. But, you know, for its size, its look, I think this is a pretty dope little setup. It's got uh, ventilation for your battery. And again, it comes with extension tubes. I got the box here. Um, nice presentation. You know, for a clone, this thing's pretty good. And, I, I you know, it feels really solid. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, Everything is nice and thick. The metal feels just good. I don't know. It rests nice in the hand. You know, it does look like a hammer. Um, this is something you could definitely smash someone over the head with if need be. And uh, yeah, again, it just flows really nice with the K-Fun, so. It's definitely um, more of a novelty type vape. You know, this isn't like a mech mod I would seek out and, and want as my all-day vape. But I gotta say, it does look cool on the shelf, you know, with the collection here it would look pretty dope sitting there it definitely would uh, draw people to want to talk about it and you know if I had this in in our shop at Rose City Vapesters I think it would just be a looker you know people would be interested in it um, I can see why people would pick it up but there are a few issues with this thing and we'll talk about that uh, when we dive up close that would keep me from wanting to purchase this and giving it two thumbs up you know as far as like everyday usage is concerned I don't know if this would be my mech mod of choice so anyway, let's uh, dive up close with the Tobacco Hammer mod, and uh, we'll finish out this review to let you all know about our 500 subscriber giveaway. And uh, yeah, so let's get let's dive up close. And here's our up close and personal with the Tobacco Hammer Mech mod. It's got some you know interesting little laser engravings. I don't know some kind of like Celtic cross thing or something. Got the uh, firing button here. And then it says hammer with some, you know, bullshit serial number. Rocking it with the K-Fun. I think that's a nice little combination there. Looks really good together. Comes in a nice presentation from Tobacco. Together best cooperation. You got your extension tubes. So for your 18500 or your 18650, you can do that. You just pull off the switch here. And you can also throw on something like your Chi U if you want which connects to it as well. So you could do an extension on your battery. So you got lots of options, which I like. But again, I like the way it looks with just the 18 uh, 350 mode. The tiny little battery. All right, so that is the extras. A little battery here. We got a brass contact for your button. Good throw on the button. <clears throat> no issues there. I have noticed when you go to take off, the uh, K-Fun, it has a tendency to pull the whole thing off with it. And then it's kind of stuck on there and you gotta use your t-shirt to pull it off. Otherwise, you cut your fingers on the threading. Which you can see right there. 
All right, so the K-Phone is off. And again, we got a brass contact for our 510. It's a floating 510. And this whole tube on the inside here is brass as well. So we got a little juice in there. Clean that up. So this whole inner tube, I'm not going to pull the whole thing apart. If you need to see it, uh, check out uh, Vaping with Twisted's video. He actually takes this inner ring off, which pulls out the brass tube. There's a plastic kind of like insulating tube in there. Uh, you can see down there's your vent holes, but as you can see, they don't perfectly line up on this part here. There's kind of some gaps in between, as you can see. But anyway, uh, you know, overall, the quality of this uh, clone is really nice. The machining is really, you know, really good, actually. Uh, I thought there wouldn't be, you know, a huge uh, voltage drop considering the whole inner thing is brass in here, but uh, according to Twisted, there is a significant voltage drop. But uh, anyway, super simple to put together. Basically, this pin here makes contact with this brass tube, and that's how you get your firing action with your vaporizer. Throw a tiny little battery back in there. All the threading's real good, real simple. Just goes right back together like such. And that is the Tobacco Hammer Mod. Or up close and personal. You see, you don't really hear much in there. All right, let's get back to the review. And that was our up close and personal look at the Tobacco Hammer Mod. So again, there's definitely some things that are cool about it. I think this is more for people that have already collected a good amount of mods. I don't know if this should be your first mech mod. Um, there were some issues that were mentioned by other reviewers, like a huge vapor uh, voltage drop. Again, I don't have a voltmeter, but you can definitely tell when you throw a K-Fun on a different mod, you know, how much vapor it's producing. If I threw this on the King V2, it would fire up pretty quick and pretty hot. Um, I do like some of the features that you can add, you know, different extension tubes to it, such as the Astro uh, telescoping mod or the Chi U, so you could have different firing buttons on here, you could have different tubes. I do like that it came with the extension tubes. And, you know, I... The reason I set the 18350 in here is because I just like the look of that. I think, you know, this is kind of what it was meant to be like. With the extension tubes, obviously, you're going to get the long battery life. You know, all that is obviously a benefit. But just for at home, you know, I've got two 18350 batteries. So I could swap them pretty easy. So if I was just going to hang out and chill on this thing, I, I would keep it in this size. I just like the way it just sits in the hand. It's, it's so small and so comfortable. I have noticed one issue though, holding it like this, where you just kind of have it resting in the hand. Sometimes my finger covers up the hole on the K-Fun, and that can be an issue. Um, but you know, if you keep that in mind when you're vaping where your airflow is, you know, obviously just be smarter than your vaporizer people. So you know, I definitely give it a thumbs up. I think this is a cool little mod, and if you're just a collector, this is something you should definitely add to the collection, just because, I mean, it's different, you know, it looks cool. And I actually really like the way it feels in my hand, but if this is going to be your, you know, your budget for your mech mod, I would pass on this. I would pick something that's going to be a little uh, better for your buck. So that is my two cents on this mod. I really appreciate you loaning this to me, Johnny. I think it's a cool uh, mech mod. I think it's definitely a looker and definitely one to add to the collection, considering you already have many a great mech mod. This is a good one for you, and you know, I would add this to my collection as well. Um, but for those of you, again, who are just getting started, or you maybe, you know, you can buy one mech mod right now and nothing else, pass on the hammer mod, people. Pick something else up. Uh, but definitely don't pass on the K-Fun for BH Pro. This is the shit, people. And it puts out on other mods, for sure. Oh yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, wanna let you all know, I'm getting some stickers made up of my logo here. Uh, they're gonna be two and a half by three and a half inch stickers. They're gonna be all vinyl. It's gonna look just like this, black background with the red and the white. I'm going to be uh, basically throwing them in on my giveaways. They're just gonna be added in with the mail, just as kind of a thank you. Um, and hopefully more people will see it and go, Ooh, what's this, and check it out. Um, but I'm also gonna be selling them and the first 100 that I sell, I'm going to add a special code to 
that's going to give you basically the VIP access to giveaways. So I'm going to do special separate giveaways and only 100 people total are ever going to be able to enter in this. So your odds are going to be a lot higher on these giveaways of winning. Uh, where you will be specifically entered uh, to these giveaways, even if you don't access it on my Facebook, you'll just be automatically entered in the VIP section. Only a hundred of you are ever going to get this. It's going to be the first hundred people to buy this sticker. And I'm also going to let you know all the money I make profit-wise, the proceeds, I'm donating to Kassaw.org. So any money I make from doing this is going right back to the community. And, uh, you know, when I get my money back for producing them, I'm going to make more. So I just want to let you know, the first 100 people to put in an order for this sticker, and they're only $1.50 people, they're a quality sticker made by a local company here in Portland. I'm going to have them in about two weeks. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, you will be entered into the special VIP section of uh, the Atheist Vapist Facebook page. And again, even if you don't enter, you will automatically be entered. And again, the odds are way better. So that'll be e-juice giveaways, mod giveaways, all that's coming up in the future, but I just want to let you know there will be a special spot just for the first 100 purchases. We also have our 500 subscriber giveaway coming up. Um, we're going to be giving away an MVP 2.0, uh, three iClear 30s, and three 15 ml bottles of e-juice from Rose City Vapesters. That is coming up this uh, next Sunday. We also have a uh, uh, VV3, the iTaste VV3 from... Uh, from Eineken as well. If you join the Rose City Vapesters mailing list, you'll be entered to win that, which is also coming up this Sunday. So lots of cool stuff coming up, people. Definitely uh, get on my Facebook page and put in an order for this, or you can leave a comment in the description, I'll find you. But again, the first 100 people are gonna get that special VIP giveaway area, and you'll forever be part of that as long as I've got this channel running. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel. That's all I got today. Peace and love, YouTube. I'm out.